Another key aspect of Module 8 of the HSC Biology Syllabus, which is also touched on in Module 7, is understanding epidemiology. This is a field of science which essentially studies the patterns of disease within and across populations. We look at things like the incidence, prevalence, and patterns of disease-causing factors in order to tailor responses to disease treatment. There are some key factors which we need to include in all epidemiological studies in order to make them valid. We need a large sample size so that we're gathering enough information to really understand the patterns of disease. We need to have a control group, so two sets of populations, one who's affected and one who's not. And we also need to have a number of variables included in our different groups. So you need to be gathering data relating not only to the incidence of disease, but understanding the ages, sex, uh, ethnicities, lifestyle factors. You need to gather the information on all of these different factors for each individual studied. Different types of epidemiological studies may include analytical, descriptive, or experimental studies. Each of these are conducted in order to gather different information. So for example, experimental studies might be testing the outcomes of a new form of treatment for a disease. In the HSC biology syllabus, you need to conduct your own research into the different types of studies that have been conducted. I'm going to talk through one example and explain why it's been so important for understanding disease. A lot of epidemiological data has been gathered to link exposure to UV light to the development of skin cancer, specifically melanoma. This is really important for Australians because we spend a lot of time in the sun and on average we're exposed to more UV light due to a hole in the ozone, unfortunately. Now, over time, we've seen that Australians are more likely to develop melanoma, which is quite a deadly form of skin cancer. So in order to counteract this change, and from the epidemiological data gathered, we've enacted public health campaigns in order to reduce the prevalence of this disease in a population. This might include things you may have seen, like the Slip Slop Slap campaign. And over time, through continued taking of data, we've observed that due to these campaigns, there's actually been a real decrease in the number of skin cancers amongst young people, which is really promising to see. So this is a great example of how scientists have used epidemiology to identify the causes of disease and therefore enact changes in order to reduce disease within a population. Thanks for listening.